Armstrong County, Mr. Powell. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure if this is a parliamentary inquiry or not, but I need to ask of the Speaker a definition. Gentleman may state his parliamentary inquiry. Mr. Speaker, I'm not sure I understand what exactly this phrase illegal gun means. The last I checked, they are inanimate objects that can't think for themselves and therefore incapable of creating actions by themselves. Gentlemen, uh, that would not be a parliamentary inquiry. The interpretation of the definition of words used in a bill would have to be defined by the bill. The interpretation of the definition of words used by uh, members in the debate or in the public domain is subject to your own interpretation. Well, thank you very much for that. Gentlemen seeking further uh, recognition on the I bill. I speak on the bill. Gentlemen, so we're on a bill. Mr. Speaker, the point I was making is this, quite simply. There is no such thing as an illegal gun there are about as many illegal guns as there are illegal manhole covers. They are inanimate, incapable of creating their own thoughts or actions. Mr. Speaker, I feel for the gentleman for the city of the first class. I understand they have a lot of problems we in the, the backwater countries don't really have. But here's my question toward this bill. If I leave Harrisburg today and I drive to my friend Tommy Killian's district in Delaware County, I will pass through 11 legislative districts. My question is, being somebody who is legally allowed to own guns, holds a concealed carry permit, and am federally empowered to cross county lines holding a firearm, at which point do I go from legal to illegal to legal to illegal to legal to illegal, not being privy to all the local firearm statutes in counties between here and New Jersey? Mr. Speaker, we must vote concurrence on House Bill 80. To have a crazy quilt of, now you see it, now you don't, going on across 300 miles east to west, 110 miles north to south, would turn criminals, well, would turn law-abiding citizens unknowingly into criminals. And I know the old adage is, ignorance is not above the law. No, it's not. But in assessing the problems of the city of the first class, and of Squirrel Hill, and of Pittsburgh, you know, it's funny, and I'm, I'm happy that somebody brought up Squirrel Hill, because I live about 20 miles from it. We don't have these issues with quote unquote, illegal guns, we don't have them. Maybe it's because our population density is much less than the city of the second class. We are only a county of the sixth class. But what I can tell you about where we are a little bit ahead of the curve, Mr. Speaker, is we respect people's rights. And if you think we're fighting hard for the second, you should hear us fight for the first because we feel freedom of speech and freedom of press and freedom to assemble and of religion is just as important. Mr. Speaker, we must concur with HB 80. Mr. Speaker, I do have a parliamentary inquiry. I don't think he is either. Mr. Speaker, not too long ago, the Supreme Court of the land held down Heller versus DC that said localities cannot make their own gun laws beyond that of the ruling home state. This is a moot conversation. I appreciate the gentleman from Cranberry making it. We must concur with HB 80. To do anything less would be unconstitutional. Thank you, Mr. Speaker.